People in the Cherokee Point neighborhood between North Park and City Heights are asking for help in dealing with the homelessness situation tonight. Good evening, I'm Jesse Pagan in for Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. One of the canyons next to the 805 freeway has been a trouble spot they say for years. CBS 8's Brian White walked the area with the people who live there who say the problem in their neighborhood is getting worse. I'm here on 35th Street and just a few blocks that way. This road dead ends into a canyon area just east of the 805 and neighbors around here say they don't feel safe because the homeless problem has gotten out of control. The homeless people bring like tons of bikes down the street and take them right down into the canyon and they spray paint them and chop them up. Eric Russell and neighbors who live here next to the canyon say they're tired of all the encampments and trash that's been plaguing this area. This garbage just piles up for months and months and you can see it kind of up on the other side of the canyon. And they say the fire danger in the canyon is a very real concern. Where do the fires happen? Uh, usually right down in that part. And over the past couple years, the issues have escalated so much that no one around here feels safe anymore in or out of their homes. We find people on our property trying to break into our house or stealing things out of our cars. I feel very unsafe here uh, just to go outside of my fenced in property, uh, especially at night when I have to take my dog out. They've gone to great lengths to add more lighting to their homes into the alleyway. As you can see, we've had to cover the entire outside of our house and floodlights and motion lights. They've been very persistent in reporting these problems over the past few years. I looked back and Justin and I between the two of us have like 275 get it done reports with the city. It just makes me upset because I feel like we can't feel safe in our own neighborhood, be able to walk alone at night with my dog. As far as jurisdictions, the city owns the canyon area, but Caltrans owns the fenced in property alongside the 805 freeway. So I did go ahead and report that portion to Caltrans. I also reached out to the city and they responded with this statement, which reads in part, quote, currently the average response time for this type of report is 20 days and we are doing our best to respond to all complaints as quickly as we can. Typical outcomes for this type of report include services being offered to any people present, connection to a homeless outreach specialist, enforcement action or movement of the encampment. Meanwhile, Eric and his neighbors don't know what to do and they feel helpless. These people don't want to go to the shelters because they can't do drugs and drink there. And you know, and we've seen how much people are doing drugs in this canyon. In Cherokee Point, I'm working for you. Brian White, CBS 8. All right, Brian, thank you. CBS 8 is working for you. If there's an issue you'd like us to look into, email us at workingforyou at cbs8.com.